When Jesus started his earthly ministry, the very first sermon that he preached is recorded in Matthew chapter 4, and I want you to catch these words of Jesus. From that time on, Jesus began to preach. What is the word here? Repent. I'm going, to come, I'm going to tie this together in just a moment. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. As soon as Jesus showed up on the scene, he's baptized, he goes through his wilderness uh, temptation time, and he goes out to preach his very first message. The Son of God now is preaching the very first message he will ever preach. And it will be recorded for history until he comes back again and for eternity. Because it's the Word of God and the Word of God is eternal. Okay? So he's giving his very first message. And what does he say? From that time on, Jesus began to preach. And what was his primary message? Repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. And that word repent is a Greek word that basically means to turn, to turn around or to turn or to change the direction of your thinking or to change the direction of your life. And so if you're going to move in God's direction, you have to make some turns in your life. And I want to challenge you in this season of our, of our lives together in 2022, you, you begin to come to God and say, Lord, I, I, I hear your alarm clock. You've got my attention. Now, Lord, I, I want to wake up to the things I need to wake up to. What is it that I need to wake up to in, in, in my life? And I want to learn to listen to you, not the voices of the world around me. I will tell you, we, we live in a culture and in a world that is going contrary to the ways of God. And so it's very easy easy for us to simply fall into that pathway and just follow along with the crowd. But if you're going to be a follower of Jesus, you're not going to go with the crowd. You're going to go against the flow of the crowd because the crowd's going in the wide road that leads to destruction. We get on the narrow road that leads to life. We need some salmon in the house that are swimming upstream, okay? Anybody can float downstream. But God calls us to turn in a new direction. So again, I would ask you, what actions do you need to take in your life that represent repentance? Repentance is not a bad word. If you're going in the wrong direction, would you appreciate someone telling you to turn because you're heading in a way that's not going to get you to your destination? That's just the way God is. He comes along and says, hey, by the way, you're going the wrong way. I just want to let you know you're going the wrong way. So it'd be really wise if you turned around, okay? And so that's how God comes to us. So never think of this as though God is trying to make your life miserable or take away the fun of your life or the joy of your life at all. No, he's, that this idea of repentance is all about turning and changing so we can go in the direction that God wants us to go.